Hey guys, it's Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Have you ever heard the expression, respect is earned? Well, some people think that that's tied to how much you make in money a year. Find out what some people think is the price of respect in this episode of Frank Pushes Back. Now this video is fan inspired. Yep, this is from our uh, YouTube cruiser friend and fan, Stephanie Dayton. Hi, Steph. <laughs> we had the pleasure of meeting Steph and her family, husband Tom and son Nate, on the NCL Bliss in 2018 on our cruise to Alaska. Yep, and Kevin was... Uh, able to do a cabin tour. They had a mini suite, number 8126. Check the link if you want to see it. Now, Steph sent us uh, an email um, with her thoughts about the crew. Uh, she had seen a video online uh, from a crew member um, who does YouTube videos, and uh, she thought it was a topic that was worth sharing with us. So let me read it to you. Hi, Kevin and Frank. I saw this YouTube video the other day and it really got me thinking. It's a guy named Riley. Now, Riley is an entertainment tech. He works for the theater. Royal Caribbean ship, Quantum of the Seas. Uh, was out of Singapore at the time. We're talking October 2020. He started making videos when he was stuck on the ship when COVID first started. His videos are very entertaining, and it was nice to see um, him make use of the time that he was stuck on board. Now, he had the option to go home, but he and his girlfriend, also worked on the ship, uh, decided to stay longer, thinking it would be over soon, uh, and they could get back to work. Obviously, we all know how this turned out. Badly. Yep, no. He has recently been back to work on the ship because uh, they're doing cruises to nowhere uh, out of Singapore. Uh, and restrictions for the cruise ship is based on Singapore rules, regulations, and law. Now, unfortunately, because of the restrictions, the crew can never leave the ship. He loves his job, but being stuck on board was really getting to him, and he decided not to renew his contract. Ever since I saw the last video, it has really got me thinking. We are so eager to get back to cruising, but what about the crew members? Are they really going to be stuck on board without a break from the ship? I feel for them. Imagine being stuck at your job location 24-7 without a chance to get away. I posted something back a while uh, about his videos when it, he was first stuck on board, and it caused a bit of tension with some people, so I understand if you don't want to discuss it. But I think it's an important topic, and I, for one, would feel guilty taking a cruise knowing the crew members could never leave the ship. Thanks for all you do. I enjoy watching your videos and the live chats. You two are hysterical. Uh, your friend, Stephanie Dayton. Well, first of all, Stephanie, love you back. <laughs> Second, Causing tension? Us avoid tension? Never! <laughs> a topic uh, we don't want to talk about? Not gonna happen! <laughs> but I agree with you, Steph. We right now are so consumed with getting back to cruising. You know, we will do anything. Yeah, we'll get the vaccine. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Stand on my head? What? Uh... Get the list ready. I want to get back on a ship on the, o on the ocean. Please, cruising, start back now. But you know what? We cannot lose sight of the crew. Uh, they work so hard 24-7, 18-plus hours a day. 
I would hate to think um, that there would be so many restrictions on them uh, while they're trying to make every minute of our cruise, our vacation, the best it could be. Now, we know that restrictions have eased up because, you know, that video was done back October 2020, if I remember correctly. Um, but things have eased up. But still, there's a lot of us who say, you know what, why can't the uh, cruise line give crew members free Wi-Fi so they can constantly be in touch with their families? Now, you can imagine, you all know that this virus, this pandemic, devastated the crew industry. Yeah, we weren't able to go on vacation. But you know what? They all lost their jobs. The crew members were all sent back to their home countries. Now, they have these jobs because in most cases, they come from poor countries. Uh, and the money that they earn, they send back to support their families and a lot of extended families as well. So this isn't just, oh, gee, you know, uh, why don't they just file for unemployment? No, they lost their jobs, okay? Um, and while we're at home going, when are the cruise ships going to allow us you know, back on board so I can get those great drinks and the great food and hit those islands or go to Alaska or wherever we want to go, they need the jobs to survive, to feed their families. And I know you, most of you know how hard they work all day long. Now, I know some people would say, That's the job they signed up for. Or, it's not my fault the cruise lines are so cheap they don't pay them well. Yeah, but where's your empathy? They miss their families. Can you imagine being away six months, nine months of a contract, away from your husband, your wife, your kids, missing important events like um, birthdays and anniversaries and weddings and, God forbid, funerals. That's tough, but they do it because it's a chance to better their lives for themselves and their families. And you all know, because um, uh, most of you uh, watching this have experienced it. And those of you who have not cruised, you will get to see how every minute the crew member is, Hi, Mr. Frank. Good morning, Mr. Frank. What can I get you, Mr. Frank? Or, Hi, Mr. Kevin. Good evening, Mr. Kevin. Uh, what can I get you? Anything you want, Mr. Kevin? A smile on their face, 24-7, no matter what. And sometimes they are used and abused by horrible passengers. You know what I'm talking about. Just go and watch my Tales from the High Seas, and you will see uh, what some of the crew members experience in terms of abuse. And it's not right. And some people think that they're just servants. Uh, and literal slaves to them because they're on vacation and that's their job. Snap, 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 snap. Well, that's just, you know, it's just not right. No matter what you do, no matter whether it's a crew member that's uh, vacuuming the floor, cleaning out the restrooms, serving you your dinner, or whether it's a director of a food and beverage, hotel director, or the captain, everyone deserves respect. And that should not be based on someone who maybe doesn't earn as much money as you do. Would any of you do the jobs that they do? Would you be away from your families for six to nine months? Would you work for the low wages that they do? 18 plus hours a day, seven days a week? Probably not. So, again, I ask the question, where is the respect? Where's the humanity? Does your yearly income dictate the level of respect that you should receive? Because, you know, people might consider you a lowly peon, a nobody. It's just not right. Um, it's not right at all. So think about it. Now, let me segue this issue into a non-cruise area of discussion where people talk about um, oh, they just flip burgers at McDonald's, you know, or they just, you know, stock shelves, or, you know, he's a maintenance guy. But it's also true of rich people. Yep, that's right. The same problem 
occurs with people who make a lot of money. Sports celebrities, Hollywood celebrities, people that are making the big bucks. Yeah, they don't always get the respect that they uh, deserve. Uh, and, and it only, if you've been reading the news lately uh, of what's happening in the sports community, all these incidents of, of abuse and violence at uh, basketball games and, uh, and uh, whatever else is happening in the sports world where, where um, players are assaulted, players are spit on, uh, players have had bottles thrown at them. Uh, racial slurs screamed at them. I mean, come on. I understand, you know, where sports is concerned. I know people get all excited. You know, I understand. I'm not a sports guy, but, you know, I get it. I see it. You're, you got a love-hate relationship with your with your team and the players, and you get all excited. And, you know, okay, there's probably alcohol involved. But come on. I cannot imagine myself going to any kind of sports event, and I have gone. I've been to a hockey game, people. I'm not some newbie. I can't imagine hurling racial slurs at a player, punching a player, throwing a water bottle at the head of a player. I mean, mama didn't raise me like that, okay? And, and, and it does come from upbringing. I mean, who does that? That is what we call Wrong! But the comments I've read on social media regarding these issues is disturbing. Really. I mean, the attitude is because these are sports celebrities or whoever, um, and they make a lot of money, they don't deserve respect. The comments I've read are, they range from, Too bad, so sad. That's what they get paid for. That's what they signed up for. They're making tons of money. They're celebrities. They're rich. Or the final one. It's their job to entertain us. Seriously? That how mama raised you? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Where does that come from? So respect is somehow based on, I don't know, what? What now? What now? Uh, based on uh, you get respect because you're rich? I don't know, that doesn't seem to be flying either. Uh, uh, you should get uh, respect because, you know, you're, you're a lowly wage earner and you're working hard, and, yeah, and you should. But then the opposite of you're a peon, you're a nobody, you get no respect. I'm not sure where we are with the money issue here. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, maybe because you get respect because you're famous? Or maybe you get respect because you're a nobody, or you don't get respect. I am so confused where people are coming from. Respect because you're a man? Respect because you're a woman? Or because you're not a woman? Because you're not a man? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what roads people are taking with this respect issue. I really, really don't. Is this how we treat people nowadays? Is this the criteria by which... Uh, we now function as a society? I, 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 it baffles me. I don't get it. Why can't we just be as simple as respect for all? It's very simple. There you go. Respect for all. End of story. End of story. Done. Finished. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. So, when cruising starts again, and it will very shortly, let's all start with a fresh new outlook when we get on board regarding the crew members, regarding our fellow passengers. We're on a ship, we're on vacation, we're having a good time. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you're from, what job you do or don't do, or how much money you make. It doesn't matter. Respect is respect. And I just wanted to talk about that, and I want to thank Steph for reminding me to talk about that. Think about it. So on behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, I want to remind you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Also, don't just watch our videos on YouTube, 
click that subscribe button. That's right. And also, click the little bell. You'll get automatic notifications when our videos go live. And when you get back on the high seas and you're on that ship, I want you to always think of what we say. Remember to always travel safe and cruise often.